Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. In this video, we are going to be talking about the TomTom Tom Go Professional 6250. Now, TomTom Tom were very kind enough to actually uh, send me out this device to, to review and test out. And um, that's what this video is about. It's about me showing you the device, what it can do, and what I think about it. And uh, I tell you now, I love it. <laughs> um, I have been using TomTom Tom products now for, well, for my throughout my whole HGV career, um, which is about five years nearly. So for five years, I've been using uh, TomTom um, sat navs, uh, specifically designed for trucks in mind. And I got to say. I love them. I absolutely love them. I started off with the TomTom Tom Trucker 6000. Uh, I upgraded that to the TomTom Tom Go Professional 6200. And then this one, which is its replacement, is the TomTom Tom Go Professional 6250. And uh, so yeah, six inch display, so it's pretty big enough. When you actually go in the settings itself, you can change between having small, medium or large font. Um, at the moment, I've got this set on medium font, I believe. Uh, for me, small is a bit too small. Uh, medium's about right and obviously larger is even bigger um, and I love the way it mounts on to your windscreen so included in the box you get uh, a windscreen mount and essentially it's a a sucker do you know what I mean it's one of those window suckers uh, so you pop it on your window like so you just push it down and then you twist it on the base and then that's it that's nice and secure and it's not coming off the TomTom -tom itself literally you just place it straight on it's a magnet there we go. Got to fiddle to find the magnet, but once it's on, it's on. Um, I drive mainly in quarries uh, and bumpy roads, and not once has it ever, ever come off um, off the mount. Uh, it's easy to take off, and it's easy to get on once you find where the, the mounting point is. You can see on the back there, look, that's where the magnet strip is, and the magnet strip is there on the other side, and you just pop it on like so. Very simple, and I love it. Um, I, in my car, have another mount. So what I do at the end of my shift is I, I take the sat-nav off, I put it in my bag, uh, and I, I don't tend to use it in my car, if I'm honest with you, when I'm driving home from work. But if I was to go anywhere, then it's just there, ready to go, I get out of my bag, and I'll just pop it on like so. It's I, Honestly, I love it. It's so much easier doing it like that, and I think everyone should be doing it like that. <laughs> so built into the TomTom -tom as well, you have live traffic updates uh, and you should be seeing a clip on your screen now where I'm actually on site um, and there's roadworks outside of the site. Um, and because there's roadworks, there's traffic. So not only does the sat nav show you that there's roadworks, but it also shows you there's traffic as well. I think there's a three minute delay in traffic. So if we just have a look on the sat nav now live, I'm from Swindon, uh, which is my local area. And we can see that there's some red traffic up here. So. The Pry, there's a two minute delay in traffic going one way, and you know the other way there's roadworks because it's orange, so, uh, and you've got more roadworks there as well. Look. It also tells you when roads are closed. So if it's a red and a white line like here, it's a, it's a closed road. You can click it, and it might tell you a little bit more information, but nine out of 10 times it would just say it's closed. Um, but yeah, you know, it's really handy to have that because you, you can, at a glance, have a quick look on any particular route that you may take. Like uh, the A420, which goes up past Shivingham. Look, if I were to go this way, I know there's traffic coming the other way. I don't know why there's traffic, but there is. There's two minutes delay right there. And if we go, if we go look at somewhere like London, for example, wow <laughs> look at all this traffic in london um pretty standard isn't it let's be honest now one of the reasons why live traffic is so good is because if you were already on a route already heading towards a destination um if the traffic or traffic jam appears your your sat nav will automatically recommend a quicker route and it's up to you to say whether you want to take that route or not um i haven't got a demo on me at hand at the moment but it will say a faster route has been found would you like to take and then you use voice commands and you say yes or you say no it's completely up to you um but talking of voice commands you can easily uh tell your tom tom where to take you um i can do it right now live so let me just make sure you can actually see i do apologize the sun's in the background a little bit so it's a little bit hard to see but you can say hello tom tom i'm listening recent destinations say the list number of recent destinations Next page. Next page. Um, and let's pick three. Finding the fastest route. 
But there we go. Uh, just using voice commands, completely hands-free. We've now got a destination set in the sat-nav. Uh, it's 28 minutes away, look, you can see in the top right corner, and 16 miles. I like to have it alternating between miles and how long it's gonna take. So here we go though. So it says we've got 16 miles until we get to our destination and we're 28 minutes away. At the bottom is our current time and at the top is our uh, ETA. Um, this is called the route bar on the route bar it will tell you if there's anything up ahead as well so for example there's a speed camera there look so if you click on that it will show you exactly where that speed camera is there's a fixed speed camera it's a 50 miles an hour road on the a420 the sat nav is telling you this um when you get close to the speed camera it'll also alert you with an audio cue and you should be able to hear that now And then um, also on the route bar, it tells you anything else that you may have. So for example, uh, oh, I just clicked that by accident. So you also have um, fuel stations and also uh, potential road works as well. So it's giving you an overall view of what is on your upcoming route, which is pretty cool. Okay, we also have an app called My Drive. You can download it on Android and iOS, and it basically allows you to pre-plan your routes uh, onto your TomTom. -tom. So while you're out and about, uh, say you're doing a delivery and you, you're walking to your delivery, uh, you've got your phone on you, you can simply select your next POI or type in an, an address of where you want to go. And once you've selected the address that you want, you simply press plan route. I don't know if you can quite see, but you press plan route and then you send destination. So you send destination and then it will automatically go onto your TomTom -tom for when you jump back into your vehicle, which is very, very handy. Okay, so one of the main features, in my opinion, on the TomTom -tom is the ability to change not only your vehicle's height uh, and width and length, but also your maximum speed and whether you're carry carrying any hazardous material as well. And you can do that um, mainly by uh, setting in your destination and where you want to go, really, and it allows you to confirm your details. But you can also amend it by going into settings, clicking My Vehicle, and it will load up this page where it will allow you to change your length, your width, your height, your your gross axle weight, your maximum speed, and whether you're carrying any hazardous material as well, harmful to water, explosive materials, and general hazardous material. So here is where you have the option to set uh, your height, which I think is probably the most important for bridges and stuff like that. So if you set a height at 3.5, we can demonstrate this right now by setting a destination to Swindon because I know that there is a bridge uh, around about here, which is, a, I think it's 4.8 metres. So if I set my destination to whatever that is there, B and Q, we can select send. I'm just hitting send now. And it would take us down the A420 because that is the way that we can go. Um, but if we amend the height to a height that I know is higher than the bridge. So let's set it at 4.98, for example. Next, you next, at your destination done. At 12 PM. It should now recalculate a different route. Yes, it has, look. So it's taken us down here. And rather than hitting the bridge over here, uh, the bridge is exactly here, look, that's where the train track is. It's advising us to come off here and uh, go up there and come down here. You will arrive at your destination at 12.37 p.m. So one thing to mention, it's got dedicated POI and uh, parking spaces available. So all these DKV spots are pl places where you... arrive at your destination at 12.32 p.m. There's sat now telling me my ETA. <laughs> so all these DKV places are telling you places that you can park uh, or uh, potential uh, points of interest for lorry drivers like ESO garages and perhaps BP garages as well, but most of them seem to be ESO look by the look of it. <laughs> um, so they're really cool to have on there. Uh, just gives you uh, a visual indication of somewhere that um, is going to be suitable for you to go and visit uh, in a large truck. Now, one of the things I like most about the TomTom -Tom is the fact that it's completely wireless in the sense that to receive any of the traffic information or the speed camera information, to send and receive all your data, you don't actually need to be connected to your phone whatsoever. It's got a built-in SIM card of data already included um, and it relies on wi-fi to do any updates so when you take it home to do an update you'll find that i've got about eight or nine gigabytes update to do on this when i get home you don't actually have to physically plug it into a computer you simply on the settings screen itself you go into your settings so hang on if i just put it down here you can see it a bit better 
you go into your settings and you find your Wi-Fi uh, and then you put in your password for your Wi-Fi when you get home and it will allow you to do the update, which is very cool. Um, doing it completely wirelessly. You just got to make sure it's got enough power so we can actually download the updates. So yeah, they're basically the main features on the TomTom Tom itself. They're the ones I like the most. You have the ability to set your home and set your work for quick um, like destinations. So you can just say, TomTom, Tom, take me home. TomTom, Tom, take me to work. And it'll take you straight there. You can access recent destinations and then select the list of destinations that you've been to recently. So we obviously uh, typed in B&Q and and all that so these are all the places i've been to recently uh if we swipe across to the next page you'll see you've got your current route where which allows you to uh, amend your route and make any changes if necessary or your places so they're all the safe places your routes your routes are done on your phone remember i mentioned the app earlier about uh, my drive so when you're at home you can plan a route save the route and then when you get into your sat nav uh, the next morning you just select your route it's already planned out ready to go and bob's your uncle you can also record your route as well so if you want to show anyone Voice control, uh, that will enable you to turn it on and off. It'll also tell you what you can and can't say. I'm listening. Display my places. Say the list number of a saved place. Four. Number four, is that correct? Yes. Finding the fastest route. So that's another way of acting that one as well. Uh, again, it's telling us on route speed camera. Uh, there's also a fuel station and also some roadworks. In a second, it's going to tell us what our ETA is, so ignore that when it does tell us because we're not actually going. Uh, we can select petrol station so it tells us where our nearest you petrol will station is. At your destination at 12:45 p.m. We can report a speed camera if we want to. If we're on the move, there is an option to press a button. Where is it? Let me let me press. Let's go. Uh, I pressed it twice then. Uh, there is an option. Normally it comes up down here when you're actually on a road. It tells you what your street road is. And it says plus. It's got a camera and with a with a plus symbol. That will enable you to actually report a speed camera. If you select that there, that will give you a list of all the roads you're going to be going on. So it's mainly A420 until you get the A419, then the M4, then uh, B road, then another A road. So that gives you a step-by-step -step list of the route if you were to click that up there. Uh, if we go back to the menu, because we never quite finished, so that was the speed camera. We then got the settings. We got um, the question mark. If you, if you press it, it just gives you a bit more information. So here you can see there's a TomTom -Tom Go Professional 6250, uh, and then a little bit more information if you uh, so require. But um, yeah, I do like it. You can you can go into the appearance. You can you can set everything so it looks different. It show you motorway exits. You can change change the size of the font, the route bar. The display, uh, you can change like the theme color if you wanted to. So if you want to go for like party pink, you can. If you want to go for serene green, you can. Let's go for a green color so it's slightly different. Um, if we just go back, so there we go. Now we've got a green route going down instead. So yeah, that's the TomTom Tom Go Professional 6250. Like I said, fantastic device. I absolutely love it. And if you want to get one yourself, you can by clicking the link down below in the description. Uh, there's an offer on at the moment where you get 20% off if you use my discount code, uh, which is Luke, just my name, L-U-K-E. <laughs> so uh, type Luke into the uh, promotional code. You get 20% off uh, or click the link down below. It'll take you straight there and I think it automatically applies the discount for you. Uh, and it's a massive saving with that 20% discount. So yes, uh, if you are interested, go ahead and uh, go and purchase one. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe with your TomTom Tom Go Professional 6250, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.